back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, we're going to hear from Kamaldin Suleimana, uh, who was voted the fastest player at this current World Cup, this ended, just ended World Cup. He explains exactly when he hit that top stride, and it's going to surprise you it wasn't in an attacking phase. We're also going to talk about gank man Joseph Painto, who was a controversially omitted from the Ghana Black Star squad for the World Cup. He spoke after he grabbed the winner for his club side Genk versus Anderlecht, dedicating his goal to his father. We'll hear from him and what he said after the game. We're also going to talk about the latest FIFA rankings for Ghana Black Stars in Africa and how Morocco are now 11th in the world and number one in Africa. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. As you know, we brought you the World Cup uh, albeit short one and if you like what we do and want us to be giving you more updates like that in tournament you know what to do support us by purchasing our merch links are in the description i'll pin it as the first comment here as well the Ghana black stars player kamaldin Suleimana was rated as the fastest player at qatar 2022 after he hit the top speed in a game versus uruguay the only game in which he featured for a longer period than the other games kamaldin uh, hit top speed and he explains exactly when that happened funny thing is it was not in an attacking phase. He spoke to Rick Wampofo of three sports, and this is what he said. I think, uh, yeah, no, I don't think it was the counter attack because the counter attack, I don't think I was running with the ball was different, you know. But I think it was uh, when I was running back, you know. You know, the, uh, we were out, uh, we were down 2 0, and then, you know, it was almost, I don't know, uh, five minutes more to go, and then there was a counter against us because we were. Uh, we were attacking. So then I had to recover back because I saw a player, you know, uh, uh, who was free, so I had to uh, get there first before the player gets there. So I think that was the it was the sprint, but uh, I wasn't even running that fast. So it was during a defensive phase there. He was running back, uh, tracking back actually, uh, to prevent Uruguay from uh, getting onto uh, the score sheet and trying to score more goals after they are taking a 2 0 lead in the first time. He came on in the second half and he was preventing them from scoring a further third goal. That is when he hit that top stride. Kamaldin impressed in that game, dribbling, swiveling, maneuvering through the pack and past players. But fortunately, he could not contribute to a goal for the Ghana national team who were knocked out of the World Cup after losing uh, to Uruguay in their final game. Ghana needed to win and forget about the other results. Unfortunately, it could not happen and the Black Stars were knocked out. Kamaldin spoke about this uh, when he and Kudus Mohammed uh, went uh, for his commemorative coin uh, that was given uh, to them uh, last two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting, interesting one there on when he hits that stride. Talking about the Black Stars players, uh, another one impressed uh, in midweek once again. Uh, Joseph Painzo, who was controversially omitted from the Ghana national team, uh, found the back of the net. Uh, for his club side, a winning touch uh, by the Ghanaian. Spoke after the game and dedicated the win to his father, who he buried last week. Condolences to him. The Ghana forward has dedicated the match winning goal against Anderlecht in the Belgian Cup to his late father. Uh, Painzo buried his father two days ago in Accra before making a return to Belgium to feature for Genk in the Cup game. The Red Hot forward extra time goal has ensured Genk progressed to the last eight of the tournament let's have a listen to what he said after uh, he got that wedding goal for Geg versus Anderlecht I'm very very tired uh, first of all uh, I'll give a big thanks to God uh, this goal also belongs to my father who just passed away a few uh, few few days ago uh, and, uh, and uh, secondly uh, this uh, this victory also goes to the fans and the family of Geng. Uh we really deserve it as we fight to the end and uh, yeah we really appreciate everybody that uh, give everything uh, to the final. To be patient was the key. Yes, yes, to be patient is the key. As you can see, Anderlecht is a very good, uh, good, uh, good team. Uh, and as you can see, uh, they also changed the, uh, their style of play. We, we also find it difficult to adapt it in the first half. But in the second half, uh, it was, you know, uh, offensive, offensive game. So it was more open. So 
yeah, we need to uh, just take our chances. As you can see, we had a lot of chances also. Mm -hmm. uh, by now, it should have been maybe 3 or 4-0 uh, or, or something. But yeah, uh, in everything, we should give thanks. And uh, to give thanks also to my players and the supporters and the family also as well. We had him there dedicating as a goal to his father, who he buried just a couple of days ago. A commiserations, uh, uh, condolences to him and his family. Uh, we wish them strength in these tough times. Not easy losing a member of your family. It is not easy at all. I uh, have been there and it has a tough toll on you. We hope that uh, he come out stronger from this incident. Informed Nigerian striker Paul Onwachu was the first to find the back of the net in the 55th minute. Uh, but the goal was disallowed for offside. Gangi young goalkeeper uh, Martin uh, Van der Voort uh, made a brilliant save to deny Anderlecht the opener in the 70th minute. The match was goalless after regular time and headed to extra time. Peto lashed onto a pass inside the box uh, for fire home a perfect strike to finally get the breakthrough for the home side just five minutes into the first period of extra time. Uh, the 95th minute strike by the Ghanaian forward was enough to see it send Genk through to the next round of the Belgian Cup. He was also named man of the match. Painter has been in superb form this season, having scored eight goals in 16 appearances in all competitions and providing six assists in the process. Congratulations to Joseph Painter on that front. I'll end today uh, talking about the Ghana Black Stars latest FIFA rankings. Uh, they are now uh, three places up in 258, uh, but in Africa, the black stars still maintaining that have not moved still maintaining that 11th position they have risen three places in the world rankings from 258 from 61st position the improvement can be attributed to the pre World Cup win versus switzerland and the World Cup beating of south korea itself in qatar the black stars who are currently without a coach following the resignation of otoado after the world cup campaign ended Ellie uh, garnered 1,400 points. Meanwhile, the four-time African champions are ranked 11th in Africa. After Morocco's incredible run in Qatar, they have moved to 11th in the world. What a leap. And now number one in Africa, taking over from Senegal. They became the first African team to reach the World Cup semi-final, defeating Belgium, Canada, Spain, and Portugal en route. Ghana will return to action next year with a new coach and it will kick things off uh, with the game in the AFCON qualifiers. We'll see how well the Black Stars do there and we'll know by then who our coach is. It's, it's still uh, really something we do not know for sure yet. And in Nigeria are highly ranked and Ghana, they are in fifth. How that happened? Didn't Nigeria lose points by losing to Portugal in their friendly? losing to algeria in their friendly uh, sometimes you wonder how the fifa rankings are done uh, the super eagles remain fifth in africa so that has been it for today talking to you about kamal din sulemana his reaction uh, to being named the fastest player at the world cup and when exactly he hit that strike it was a defensive track back also talking to you today about uh, the latest fifa ranking the black stars position and Joseph Payne, so dedicating his goal to his father. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.